Hey guys, it's Ann. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on my DIY stacked bin. Now this bin is comprised of three 10 gallon totes and it has been looked in on about 34 days ago and that's about what we're doing right now is about once a month. Little, little more. So I started making, I made this a couple years ago as kind of my cheap version of the, the stacked bin, like a vermi hut or something like that. Now, of course, it's not the same, but, you know, it was what I could do and what I started with. So one of the things that I, I keep it around for right now is that I have basically three bins in one footprint. So I have three layers of bins that my worms can get into. They're all connected and they all live in one place and uh, they are kind of each other's lid. So, we're going to take a look at in here. Uh, I think there was some leaks in here that have been in here for like three months. I had no idea that those were going to be such slow food. So let's do an evaluation of the bin here before we decide what we're going to feed. So, looks like I think, what the heck, plastic. Um, I know there were shallots in here, and then we also ended up giving it, um, let's see, what else was there? We'll see, I guess we'll find out. I think there's probably citrus, and the shallots were still in here, and then there was also some avocado and soup greens. So it looks like we still have kind of like, you know, shreds of vegetables in here. There's about four pounds of my Uncle Jim's mix in here, which is the red wigglers, the European night crawlers, and the blue worms. That looks like green pepper, piece of citrus. Um, so it looks like they have a little bit of food from the feeding that we did last time. I'll put a picture up there for you guys to uh, see what that was. Kind of move over the top dryer bedding here. See what the middle is doing. I'll put in the description below how long each side has been running for since it's been refreshed. So let me know if anybody else has made one of these and how do you, how do you like it. Um, did you give up on it and buy something when you had the money or did you just keep running with it? Alright, this is I think the old side because we've got the uh, the shell of that mango still in here. Almost looks burnt. Kind of weird. All right, no escapes. Get her back over here. And if you can believe it, those leeks are still in here. I would have never, never in a million years guessed that these things would have taken so long. So strange. I mean, they go through onions pretty quickly. I don't know what it is about these leeks. Maybe they're more fibrous or something. But they're just not really... I mean, right, this one, this particular leaf looks like it's had a little bit of uh, action, but for the most part, they surprised me. Uh, also, when you're looking in your bins, what's the food that you think lasts the longest? I mean, except for like pits and things like that. Um, I don't think I've ever fed leeks before, and that is just taking an obnoxious amount of time for it to uh, finish up. All right, let me get the next layer down. All right, so we're looking in on these guys. I know we fed on one side, but I don't know which side that is. Lots of springtails, lots of helpers, and it is pretty, pretty wet in here. So I think I am probably going to give them a little bit of dry bedding. I think we can say that it was fed over here because we have an onion trying to grow. And uh, more goo. I'll put a picture up there of what we fed them last time. Oh, avocados. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm seeing it. Okay. So these were avocados that just had, you know, turned brown. Not, uh, not just the, you know, the inside pit like usual. So I can still smell some citrus in there. Obviously, this onion's got a ways to go but I think it might be a good idea to swap out some of this really wet stuff here and put in some dry. So what I've just done here is I've taken out some of this super wet stuff and swapped it out for the stuff that was kind of dry on the top layer. That way this uh, newer bedding can get some love and this portion can dry out a little bit. 
it's getting to be that time of year. I mean, it is like 65 degrees Fahrenheit in here, but it's also like 55% humidity. So it's warmer, but there's no way these bins are going to dry on their own unless I intervene. And paper bedding does tend to get a little bit sticky uh, as opposed to leaf bedding and things like that. All right, let's pull this off and let's get to the next layer. Okay, so here we are down on the lowest layer, and this is where I've started stashing all of my super long-term food like avocado pits, mango seeds, and uh, corn cobs, and other things like that, because this layer down here always stays a good moisture, even if it gets really dry in the basement. Let's see if we can break this open. Yeah, well, no worms. But it looks like we've got some pretty decent uh, moisture in here. I think this is a centipede. I'm going to pull this out. I think somebody said they thought it was some kind of a beetle or something, but to me it looks like a blue worm with legs. So let's see if I can... Oh, I just, <laughs> I just threw it in the gnat trap. Okay, so we're not going to look at that anytime soon. If I can remember, I will put that under the microscope and we can look at it and you can tell me what it is. But looking down here, we've still got pretty much our grape stems, still got our big old pits in here. So lots of springtails, nothing interesting really happening down here. So we're just going to leave this as is. All right, that's about it for the bottom layer here. If you're enjoying this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. Now let's get this thing reassembled. Okay, so we had a little bit of food over there. So we're going to switch sides and put a little bit of pumpkin over here. Cover that up. Let's get the top layer. Okay. <clears throat> I did just put that bedding in there from that, or you know, the, the two wet stuff from layer number two. So I'm just going to kind of mix that in a little bit. And I think, you know, considering what we did find in here, I think it's okay if we give them some food. Obviously, those leaks are going nowhere anytime soon. Has anybody ever fed leeks? How long did it take? It's crazy. But there's about four pounds of worms in here, so I don't want to have them go without while they're waiting for the long-term food to eat. This DIY bin has its own playlist, and if you are interested in seeing this from the beginning, I will put that over there. And if you'd like to just see the last video, I'll link it over there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.